Greetings and salutations, this is Ivan Dogovich with Let's Play Open XCOM Pirates In the 20th episode of Open XCOM Pirates, we are continuing into the second half of the month of March We made some great research progress last month um, We've actually uh, chased one small UFO, but we haven't really... Uh, we, we missed him, he, he, he escaped from us um, I was um, running the soup cooler, running the mouth off when I should have been uh, actually trying to shoot him down. Anyhow, a um, couple more things here. It seems like every every episode I start with a monologue of sorts. That's <laughs> things I'm explaining. Um, so we're gonna do the same again. Why why stop the tradition? Um, actually, updating. I have updated to Pirates Nine I which is the current latest build. Um, we're only on 9H for two episodes, I believe. Um, 9I is gonna be cool, gonna add some stuff, but I also um, customized my executable even more. Um, before I talked about adding the melee stat strings ability to it, and I did that, but the other thing that I have added is I have added the um, Monthly manufacturing, um, monthly manufacturing customization. It's a pull request that's out there, and what it does is it adds this line here. So monthly earnings per month. Uh, I've changed the uh, the uh, text string here to sound a little more piratey, and I've added that in as another little tiny rule set that just changes that, and it tells you. With 20 runs, making grog and selling it, you would make 389,000 gay. Okay. That's not accounting for how much the runs cost or workshop space or anything. It's just pure profit. If you're selling this, how much are you going to make on it? So that's a, kind of a cool thing. If we bump the crossbow production down, maybe take all the runs off of it and bump up the grog. 230 there you go you can just see how much kind of a, a rough how much you're gonna make which is nice and we can compare that with the number um, in our logs of how much your monthly costs are so you can see that the maintenance is gonna be this much I'm gonna get this much this much take away that much and I think that's numbers around 290 280,000 I think uh, maybe 270 yeah 270 I did the math uh, on paper right because we're in the calculator program off but and then trying to figure out how much you're gonna make per month it's just a little much anyway I liked that feature it's uh, a pull request in the um, open XCOM source code project uh, on github and I pulled it in oh gosh <laughs> <laughs> compiling open XCOM the sagas of trying to do it so the other thing in that whole process um, you know you can do open XCOM 64 bit and I've got a 64 bit operating system and computer and I thought shoot that's the way to go well let me tell you that is not worth the effort and I'll tell you right up front there's a couple things too it's when I talked to war when I mentioned that to Warboy yesterday he's like well yeah open XCOM doesn't even really use threading which is where um, you gain a lot by having 64 bit over 32 bit and he said actually from what we can tell when tested the actual um performance when you're running 64-bit is worse so only compile 32-bit guys uh i'll just say that right now install visual visual studio 2010 express edition and it will compile 32-bit and just stop there um i went through this whole rigmarole of trying to add all the different pieces parts that visual studio wanted to be able to get to 64 bit and that was a service pack and the windows sdk 7.1 and then another compiler on top of that and they they gripe if they've got a previous or older version installed and you got to go back and uninstall a bunch of things and uninstall it all and put it all back on and then once you've got it so it can compile some of the libraries in the pre-compiled dependency packages yeah i know i'm talking a lot of <laughs> jibber jabber um 
they don't do 64-bit. YamlCPP.lib. Anyhow, that, all that said, just compile 32-bit and you'll be fine. So I've got that and I've got one other feature that maybe we'll see if in we can get to the point that we can actually get on the ground. And maybe we won't get to see this, but it's another feature and I'll point it out sometime if we do see it. Uh, you only see it in tactical. Anyhow, I finally destroyed rum. We're working on that. That's going to be awesome. Should allow us to make that little earnings per month number go up. Um, dynamite is still okay, fine. And yeah, I think we are just cranking and I think it's time to keep cranking. Let's let the time go. Let's see. We the, yeah, the other thing here. This has me concerned. 280, and there's a lot of activity in North America. I would guess there's an alien base going in over there. Maybe less than optimal. Um, I don't think I'm going to go... Well, I certainly couldn't take on an alien base now. I'm pretty much sure of that. Um, I'm not well armed or armored to take on really heavy duty enemies um i think i'm gonna just stay here let the month progress i've got a pogrom coming up that's gonna take away score from me they just always do you, you know you you never can beat a pogrom you're always just trying to not lose as bad whoa finally distilled rum finally okay Finally distilled rum, more potent than grog. This bottle is nothing short of a wonder. Six uses per battle of per battle of each use of the following. Healing. Removes one fatal wound per use. Restores five health per wound. Nice. Stimulant. Restores 12 stun and 25 energy. Nice. Painkiller. Restores morale lost due to injuries. Nice. Okay. Now. Okay. Let's get the research going. Um... Let's bump the let's bump the dynamite up and let's go into leather armor. Okay, and are there any new projects after the finely distilled rum? Nope. Nope. Okay, and I think after this episode I am going to put up a tech pole, like I discussed last time. I'll put up the tech poll and we'll get uh, get you guys to give me some more excellent advice. Ooh, dynamite should come through really quickly. We now produce finely distilled rum. Excellent. Let us get some finely distilled rum. Uh, stop production of the grog. New production. Where are you? Where are you, grog? Um. There it is, right above finally distilled rum. Yeah. Okay, so it costs six thousand uh, work hours to complete one unit. So it takes a little longer. Right. We were making one a day. All right. Let's start the production. Let's put all the gals on it. Uh, we got twenty and sell it. What? Okay. This is not worth... Uh, okay, wait a minute. 13000 per month. That's not... Um, that's not more profitable than... Than the uh, grog. Not by a long shot. Stop production on that. Well, the grog's a moneymaker. This looks more like just a... Um, yeah, 600 to produce, 6,000. That's quicker to make. Yeah. Okay, well then. Sell that. Uh, put these on there, units to produce. Maybe I hadn't done it. Oh, okay. Maybe. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me try it again. Let me try again. Because <laughs> maybe I didn't uh, put it on infinite. Okay, so finally distilled rum. Start production. Infinite, sell them all. There we go. Okay. All right, Ivan. Yeah, you're a pro at this game. Oh, there we go. I need to talk about that too. <laughs> yeah, Ivan being a pro. Okay, so good. As 
I suspected from comments and things I mean I read finally distilled rum should make you more money than grog and it does indeed which is a good thing okay so quite a bit more actually and actually um, before I sell some um, I think I want to make a few for um, make a few for the Bonnie for the gals to carry so we'll make 10 and then we'll go back into production just for ourselves and that's gonna take eight days Wow Wow well we'll add these other two runs the other ten runs on there Okay, let's bump that down. So for medicinal purposes on the Bonnie, we'll, we'll go with maybe four. <laughs> All right, and that should get us quicker. Okay, because we still do need to make money. Yeah, well, we're right about there. I think I estimated that we needed a 270-ish to make it through to the end of the month. Speaking of which, I think we have place for one more hand. Um, and I do have a couple more folks that have signed up, but, uh, yeah, let's talk about Ivan's, uh, maybe less than perfect <laughs> play. <laughs> uh, so if you guys are coming here to watch the perfect, uh, pirates play, um, you know, the perf the, the, uh, professional <laughs> level skill of pirates play, I'm afraid y'all are going to just be sadly disappointed because one thing I can I can guarantee that I'm not is a professional gamer in fact um, about the only gameplay that I've done at all over the past year is the gameplay that I've done for my let's plays and before that I haven't been playing games for about five or ten years uh, not that I don't like games and I watch a lot of LPs and stuff and and but I would just say right up front there are a lot better gamers out there than I am um, and when it comes to XCOM I'd say the best best player that I know of is Meridian so if you really want expert play watch Meridian I will tell you this though that if you watch Meridian watching my videos it will probably be painful you will probably see a lot of things that will make you want to um, cringe shout at the screen yell whatever uh so one of my viewers said this he said um he hasn't even played XCOM yet but he told me the other day that my play makes him sad <laughs> i laughed and told him that the inexpert play was referred to as ivan moments and then if he wanted expert play you should watch meridian he says yeah he doesn't he does he kind of likes the lp but he can't call me a, a strategy game mastermind though and i have to completely agree i am not the strategy game mastermind and uh i appreciate uh ivan ivanoff mentioning to me that <laughs> my um the fact that I often don't see that uh, see the time unit cost and that the uh, I try to go maybe prime a grenade and throw it and I don't have enough to use or uh, and he says it drives him crazy and I get it guys I get it it's not the best I'm not the the the, op, the best uh, player out there um, and I apologize if it does drive me crazy and uh i don't know how much i'll improve but i appreciate the appreciate the comments i do and i appreciate the the fact that a lot of you still watch and i understand if some of you can't take it anymore and bail so anyhow yeah it's a the ivan play is a feature not a bug <laughs> all right so dynamite excellent okay so it's concussive 82 so the black powder bomb is 60 and this is 82 now the good thing is this is a grenade you can throw it um and it doesn't per se go off immediately you can oh 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 right this can allow you to do grenade chains 82 is i don't know well, it'd probably good for, for softening up armored targets, like the power armor guys. It'd probably definitely wreck 
a personal armor guy. Okay. Dynamite. Homemade high explosive for those special situations where you absolutely positively need something blown to kingdom come. Can't be thrown as far as your grenade, so make sure you put it into worthy hands. Yeah. So the point here is to have somebody near the target who is strong that can throw it. And then maybe have somebody behind them prime it, toss it to them, and pass it along in a grenade chain. Good. And I did talk to Dioxine about dynamite and about having to research it and everything else. So it's a feature, again, not a bug. The reason why you can research cooking by the book and then have dynamite pop as a research, um, a research item but then you can still manufacture it is that the other way you couldn't be able to research dynamite is by finding it on the battlefield. So the point is you should be either able to research it by finding it or by doing cooking by the book. So that's why it's a second research topic, etc. And you can't pop two topics with one research breakthrough. So cooking by the book doesn't give you this as well. That anyhow, that's, that's what that's all about. And I know I complained about that a lot last episode, but that's why it's there. Okay, so dynamite is done. Let's get let's get more on leather armor. Let's see if there's any new projects after the dynamite. Um, it's always good to check. I should probably, um, yeah, probably get into doing the uh, weapons fairly soon. Okay. That's good. Excellent. There, we'll make some good progress. Awesome. 21st of March. Okay, so 280. Their score hasn't gone up much. Our score's not gone up much either. We've made a couple research breakthroughs, but they don't have many points to them. Ah, very small, very high. This guy, I think we're going to shoot him down. I think we're just going to destroy him. Um, that's okay. Bonnie, let's go get him. He's going slow. Now, like I said, we want to disable that. We want to engage there. Ramming speed. No, we want to disable this and go to that. The faster thing with more rounds. Blown to pieces. Blown to pieces. All right, so that'll bump our score a little. Um, two, it's gone up a little there. It hasn't gone up in North America. It has gone up in Southeast Asia a little fine. Our score just ticked up off of 160. Okay, yeah, we're still gonna we're still gonna end up with a negative score this month, I think. Okay, we made all that. Let's make some for money. Make some for money. We can put those. Uh, Put those on the Bonnie as a first aid kit. Start production. Throw all the runs on there. Make infinite number and sell it all. 30 runs. Selling finely distilled rum. Gets us 700k. That's actually getting good now. Actually getting to the range where we can actually maybe start um, getting on a financial footing that instead of just totally scraping by current funds right so we're still down a bit we're, we're right at that ragged edge um, so of 700,000 I've got about a third of that left that should get me a couple hundred thousand maybe by the end of the month ish uh, depending on how many days are in March I don't know let's find out all right, Holy Evelyn has got in. Holy Evelyn. Let's check our hideout and rename this fine lass. I think there's actually probably one more person. Um, yes. Yes, I've got two more um, new hands that have hired on. And I want to get them in there. So Rotfoot Rui has not been on a mission yet. And Holy Evelyn is actually the somber lady. Oh, look at three words. Somber lady. And somber lady is blokes. Thank you for signing up and wanting to be a 
a member of the piratey crew blokes okay your strength is not so amazing melee is pretty decent throwing is accurate horrible firing accuracy is bad reactions are good bravery is good health is decent stamina is not so good time units is okay so when we look at your stat string you just have um, a small melee attribute. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, while we're here, let's throw the um, rum onto the Bonnie. Rum. Finally distilled rum. Where are you? Aimed up. You're not up. You're down. Okay, four of those guys on there. That should be a little easier to maneuver, too, than the... Uh, then the um the grog the bottles of grog and actually i think i'm gonna pull the grog off it just takes up so much space and looks so huge yeah we'll take that off okay and um the atom beer actually thank you dioxine he's bumped it up in terms of what it can give you in terms of it actually can give you a little bit more Gemina, I think at this point. Um, I, love, I wanted to see black market. Can I buy? What can I buy in those stuffs? Um, I thought I could buy the beer. Uh, electro. Yeah, this is always one of those things why you kind of want to do this off screen because all right. So I guess you can't buy it. Have I just been picking up the beer all along from? From the uh, crews that I've I've thumped uh, bandages. Oh no, you can buy beer. All right, I thought I bought some beer. Okay, you can buy beer, field surgery kits, etc., and bandages. Um, but I think that the rum is better than a surgery kit, even. So okay, good. All right, all right. Gonna continue on here, making the grog. Looking at the money kicking, not the grog. The the distilled rum okay leather armor nice looking armor okay so the front armor here this is all just a little better than the regular unarmored version 20,000 or uh, 20 armor and with leather armor it's 25 okay and laser is uh, 80 and smoke is 400 so leathers laser is a little less cutting's a little less acid is a lot less smoke is still bad hmm and it takes away your stamina okay this fashionable and unique outfit can be worn for some extra protection or sold for a nice profit oh another profit item melee accuracy is increased too that's good better for the shooty folks and not moving around folks okay smoke is still a big issue though oh yeah i think the beer when i read the beer it might remove some of that i don't remember okay uh, i still have to figure out how all these are playing and and dioxin is updating the mod and um so if you have beer you can and sitting in smoke and you're almost smoked out you can give it to somebody and then it will reduce the amount of stun damage i don't know uh, I'm not quite sure, but there are some of those things are, uh, some of the things that we have in the mod will allow us to do things like that, but still, this smoke damage 400% is very, very potent. We can now research metal armor. I think this is where we're actually going to get some decent, um, decent, better options. So let us get that in the queue here. Let's put three brainers on metal armor okay and let's put four uh let's put no no uh <laughs> two here <laughs> split it all up two here okay so after this episode i'm definitely putting a tech pole out guys okay that's just what we're gonna do we're just gonna let it crank we can now produce leather armor okay so let's see what that what that does for us i Let's do new production, leather armor. It requires trader's booty. So we can make 23. It doesn't cost hardly anything to make. It takes a little over two runt days to make one. If we make it, um, 
and we sell it infinitely. Oh, wow. So you need Trader's Booty, but you could make a lot of make a lot of money selling it. Okay, good to know, good to know. Um, but at this point, I let's put 10 runs on it. Let's make four suits, not sell them. Four suits, okay. All right, we'll make that and we will continue to make our grog, our, our rum. Okay, so that should help a little bit there. Kick in the time again. Leather armor's already done. Okay, fine. Let's get the girls back on there. We'll all uh, have to experiment with who I want in the leather armor probably before I really, uh, really pull it into being. I think that the metal armor is going to be a better option for us too. All right, get to the end of months. Get up here for grog. Our metal armor. Okay, 35 front. There we go. 30, 30, 30. Laser is better. Smoke is still bad. Smoke is still bad. I mean, the accuracy has gone up. Stamina. Did I say, did I say shooting accuracy? Yeah, melee accuracy. Sorry. So the leather armor, the, the metal armor takes away some time units and some stamina but it gives you good melee accuracy these are kind of the upfront bash them in the face which is not bad not bad at all but need somebody with decent time units for sure they can now pretty much survive a lot of small arms fire whereas before it was much more iffy now pretty much the spray guns the shotguns Assault rifles, things like that are pretty much going to bounce off. Metal, a leather armor reinforced with plastic steel gives some actual protection for a cheap price. Okay, weight is seven. They even weighs stuff. How much did the leathers weigh? Three. Okay. I don't know. All right. So let's split up our brainers here. Put three on there and four on there. All right, all right. You now produce it. Let's see what it costs to produce it again here. Let's put, uh, let's, let's see what it costs here. It probably takes, I'm gonna guess, first trader booty and scrap steel. Plasta steel, it doesn't take crap, scrap metal. Plasta steel, trader's booty, and a leather armor. Okay, I like it. Let's make some, let's make four. So we have four leather armors. One, two, three, four. Okay, okay. Uh, that's gonna take a day. All right, so we'll have some metal armor for a few gals when all this is said and done. All right, excellent. Back to the distilled rum with you. I keep thinking, I keep wanting to say grog because I'm so used to that. All right, keep going to the end of the month. Uh, construction of the barracks. All right, so we're going to be charged for the barracks without really the use of the barracks. Not optimal timing on that per se. Check your hideout. So we've got barracks now and we've got the ability to hire more folks. Guess what? I'm not going to hire, although I'm sitting at pretty decent funds. I'm not going to hire until after the beginning of the next month, really, though, because we're going to take a we're going to take a hit in money. Um, and we're almost there, and it's bam. Right, our score seven thirty. Not bad, actually, is better than I expected. Wow. Okay, and so the income has gone up a bit. Our maintenance is still fairly high. So right now, our income versus maintenance is right around 200,000. And we have 200,000. So the next thing we need to build is another workshop. And that's 800,000. So we still need to make a ton of money before we can really get some good uh, financial situation. Uh, everybody pretty much looks like they have um, increased their payments so that's good we have completed basic bullet manufacturing basic bullet manufacturing this is the workshop reporting captain don't mind all these explosives lying around will ya we're just starting to figure out what to do with them ourselves anyways 
Using these to produce pistol bullets seems easy enough, and we'll be able to replenish our supplies without paying those sharks at the marketplace. Just keep us supplied with chemicals and scrap metal. Workshop out. All right, very good, very good. Anything after that, anything before that? Nope, just that stuff. We can now research rifle bullet manufacturing, and we probably should. So new project, let's get that in there. Uh, rifle bullet manufacturing. Of course I miss it, it's right there. Uh, let's throw three on there and put four on the personal armor, okay? We are making our way through the research tree, which is good. Um, okay. We can now produce man stopper clip, snubby drum, hand cannon rounds, blunderbush shells, boarding gun ammo. Okay, let's take a look at the manufacturing, new production, and let's go with. Uh, ammunition standard so that's all that stuff there any ammunition heavy no okay um, explosives just the stuff we knows about okay alrighty yes sir okay well um, we've got the program still coming we got some armor Let's see where the program is going to pop. And actually, let's check the charts here. So, their, their activity got all the way up to 320. And ours last month was only at 160 in activity. So, our score was really dependent more on research than activity. Okay. Okay. Our income is gone up. This is our base income. We haven't sold anything yet, which is a the difference there. And our maintenance still kind of flat. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, let's. Where's the pogrom gonna be? Pogrom? Hello? Ah, it's in the Black Citadel. Good. We'll get there in the daytime. Okay, so next episode, folks, we'll be taking on a pogrom in the Black Citadel in the Eurasian autonomy. Um, again, we're gonna try to see what we can get out of it. We're going to try to survive, take as few risks as possible with as many gains as possible. We're getting close to the point where we can start to take on some of these folks, but we may not be able to do so with complete impunity. Dealing with tough armored opponents and armored cyber disks and things can be a bloodbath. And my tendency is to back out of bloodbaths and not go down to squad wipes anyhow that'll be for the next episode your next episode of pirates thank you for joining me for this 19th episode of let's play open xcom pirates you have been discovering data with ivan dogovich cheers <laughs>